Hey guys, I this game and yeah, I've been going around a lot in Kalampu and one thing I found is the crazy human mind, which you want to ask. Yes, we're not going to also look at this by now. Now, what are your thoughts? I had to summarize them into words, it would be that all of this is down to bad decisions. Not just decisions starting in 2019, but decisions that go way back to about 2000, 2004. Because, you know, the government at the time followed this policy of, uh, which basically gave tax breaks to a bunch of local companies to import raw materials at lower prices and sell them back within the domestic market at higher prices. And, uh, you know, exports were always slowing down. And then there was like a major source of financial instability coming from the government budget. Now, apart from all that, even after the 30 year war, economic growth was coming in from non tradable sectors like real estate, um, telecoms, and things like that, where basically what those industries made or sold rather could not be exported. So obviously exports didn't grow. And fast forward to 2019, a new government came in, there were a bunch of tax cuts that were given to businesses and people, and things just got so much worse from there, and a bunch of other serious policy errors followed. Now, the worst part about all these shortages the shortage of essentials, the power cuts, and things, is that all of this were predicted by, not just by independent analysts, but by practically everyone. And uh, interestingly, way back in 2019, say around August, I interviewed the then governor of the central bank, Dr. Indrajit Kumar Swami, and what he said was that as a country, Sri Lanka needed to be super disciplined fiscally, and that our debt dynamics at the time were precarious but manageable, and also that we really don't have space to um, spend government money on bad ideas, and that, that we had to be really, really disciplined. Um, just check this out. Check out this clip. So you're not worried about election goodies? Uh... Well, that, that, as I said earlier, that, that is, you know, that we have to maintain fiscal, slip, fiscal discipline. Uh, they, you know, our debt dynamics are precarious. They can be managed. They can be managed. But if we let go in terms of going outside the framework, the government has a medium term, revenue enhancement based fiscal consolidation strategy. So there can be some leeway because of what has happened in April. But if you need to keep the broad framework in place, if we go outside that, then the debt dynamics become worse and the challenge of managing it will become much more difficult. And we don't have much room. We have very limited room to maneuver. So we can manage this situation. But if the fiscal slippage is significant, then we don't have much space. You know, it, it is, it's, it's a precarious situation, but a manageable situation. If there's significant fiscal situ uh, slippage, it will become an even more precarious situation and the prospects of managing it will become much less. So yeah, did you hear that? And fun fact, Dr. Kumaraswamy basically called the finals of the 2019, inter uh, 2019 rugby world. I'll, I'll put the link to that interview in the description below. Go check it out. So yeah, the two that brings me to the two big questions. One, do I think Sri Lanka will come out of this mess? Yes, it will. Not overnight. It will be messy. It will be a roller coaster ride. But I think yes, in over, over time, in the space of a few years, Sri Lanka will get there. Uh, because look at it. I mean. Even during the 30-year war, which ended basically in 2009, Sri Lanka managed to record a positive economic growth 
for every one of those, almost every one of those 30 years, which is great and hints at a certain degree of underlying resilience. And two, uh, should you visit Sri Lanka maybe this winter if you're planning to? Yes, please do. As long as you book your stay through a reputed operator and are staying at a reputed hotel chain, you should be fine. You should be looked after very well. And the exchange rate is also in your favor. So please, please do visit. I mean, things are not great exactly. Uh, not going to sugarcoat that. And if I had to describe it, I would say it's kind of like being in a car that can only go into first gear. It works, but not as well as it should. And obviously that's not so helpful because a car that only goes in first gear is not really useful. And I should be able to tell you that the car will work fine even uh, in fifth gear. So yeah, that's about it. And if you kind of visit Sri Lanka, do visit. Beautiful country, obviously in the mess right now because of man-made decisions. Which is also the reason why I'm optimistic because you can, if you got into a mess because of some man made decisions, then you can always get out of that mess by taking the right decisions too. So, well, that's about it for today. Thank you so much. Like, share, subscribe. Let me know what you think about this video in the comments below. And see you soon. Another video. Bye.